There's this movement towards uh, what was called Memphis design, uh, which is a revival from something in the 80s, which was very short-lived, sadly, because it was an exciting style, because it had a, a very expressive shapes um, and fantastic colours, very strong colours. Not only is green good, but green is makes you money. You profit with green. What I'm really keen on is energy conservation and greener ways of building buildings. We are moving from sustainability to being a new fad to trying to become mainstream. I feel that well-being is um, stepping up a notch when it comes to the, the kind of information and the quality of the information that is supporting this application. All I'm observing right now is the different uses of materials and colours. I'm seeing there's a lot of angular work going out. How can we make buildings uh, respond to the climate, respond to the context, and make an architecture of place. How in the design itself, whether that is the decisions we're making as designers or in the process that we're delivering itself, are we enhancing um, comfort of people and allowing them to find well-being? What was, made it really interesting is that we were all addressing this issue of compact living from different angles. People ask me all the time, how do I advance my career as a designer? I said, well, hang your coat on the uh, British Institute of Interior Design hook. My one message to the industry would be um, for designers in the UK and internationally to um, not be afraid of the issues around sustainability. Life is not a rehearsal and get it right first time. <laughs>